Hello everyone, welcome to our Embodied Movement Yoga class. Today we will be exploring a class of strength and spirals that will take us to a fun pose like Pashvatmakasana and maybe Kaunidyasana. Let's see where we get to. Let's begin the class by standing up. And we're going to find ourselves into a wide feet Tadasana in front of the mat. We take an inhalation through the nose and we exhale through the mouth by spalding the lips and allowing the shoulders, the sternum to relax. One more time, inhale through the nose. And we call this double breathing, exhale through the mouth. From here, I'm raising both feet, both the arms up, shoulders to the ears, palm facing out, arms on the side of the body. And let's continue with this pattern. Inhale, exhale. When you inhale and raise the arms up, imagine the back body leaving the front of the body to open. The back body contracts, the front of the body spread open and arms on the side of the body. Posterior pelvic tilt, chin down towards the sternum, and we begin our red dog. Inhale, and exhale, fold forward. And again, inhale. And we find the exhalation as the point of flexion. And when we inhale, we stop the movement to highlight the back of the body. Continue. As long as the movement feels comfortable for the spine. In this therapeutic regal, we are releasing the back of the body and strengthening the front of the body. From here, connect the pubic bone to the navel, unroll the spine to come up gently until we find again our embodied Tadasana. Raise the arms up, inhale. And double pendulum movement. This dynamic Utkadasana, arms, arms, extend. One more cycle. And palm facing out, arms on the body. Posterior pelvic tilt, bow your head down, and continue to find a second rectal. The buttocks are active, the pubic bone is connected to the navel, and slowly flex forward. Gently connect the pubic bone to the navel, and rise up back to the dust. Inhale through the nose, exhale gently through the mouth, raise the arms up, inhale, and again, double bounce, come up into a small extension, and again, flex, flex, and extend, one more time. Arms alongside the body, and we find ourselves into a T position or our Dimanasana. Left arm down, right arm up. Inhale, raise the right shoulder up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Keep the posterior pelvic tilt to allow the heels to ground. Raise the left shoulder to the ear, the right shoulder to the right ear to lengthen the right side of the body. Allow the left side of the body to become heavy. Right arm raises me up. Inhale on the spot. And exhale, side bend to the right. I'm finding again the posterior pelvic tilt to feel the heels connecting like roots into the ground. I'm straightening the left elbow to allow the arm to straighten completely and the left shoulder is coming up. I'm inhaling into the left lung, and when I'm exhaling, the right arm becomes heavy, and I side bend. Come up, inhale. Exhale, 
move to the opposite side. Inhalation gives me vertical height. Exhalation flexes me. Continue a few more cycles in your own time. From a static to a dynamic position. Last movement of flexion. We finish with the left arm over the head. Come back to the center, arms alongside the body, and let's take a moment here to observe the height that we have created into the side ribs. Allow the shoulders to drop to the, to the floor towards the elbows. And we'll breathe. Again, dynamic pendulum, raise the arms up and bend, bend and extend. Now you can find a floating tadasana. Lift the heels up. I suggest you look at one point into the ground for balance. At the next movement, I'm holding the floating tadasana, arms in line with the shoulders, bend the knees, hands in namaskara, and I'm going down slowly. Raise the arms up, inhale. Disconnect the palms. Take the hands forward, body weight into the hands and then shift back into the legs for Uttanasana. Allow the body weight to move gently to the front of the foot to have the hips in line with the heels. The back of the head is relaxing down to the floor. I'm raising the buttocks up towards the ceiling, away from the heels, to lengthen the back of the legs. And now connect the pubic bone to the navel and then roll the spine to come up. When you come up, inhale, raise the arms up. Double bend the knees and extend, lift the heels up. Continue. Last one. Hold the floating parasana. Floating Utkatasana and coming down to Floating Malasana, raise the arms up, disconnect the palms, hands down and back into Uttanasana. Bend the knees and step the right leg back. Take the hands below the shoulders and straighten the left leg. You can take the right foot to a 45 degrees angle. Now press the feet away from each other to ground the right heel into the floor. Lift the kneecaps up to activate the legs. Roll the right leg immediately to allow the right heel to move down towards the floor. Allow the belly button to gently move to the left leg and continue this action. Now press the hands into the floor, raise the chest up, inhale, and when you exhale, fold forward. And again, pressing the hands down, I'm taking the head forward and coming down. One more time, extend the spine <clears throat> very gently, and when you exhale, find yourself into a deep flexion. Allow the elbows to bend, to bend ever so slightly, so that you can find further flexion in the mood. Take a deep inhalation into the back of the lungs, and allow the exhalation to take you down. One more time. Look forward, raise the back leg heel up. And now bend the left knee, and when you straighten up the leg, raise the heel, uh, the ball of the foot up. And again, I'm raising the ball of the foot of the left leg. Continue this movement. In one of these attempts, I'm shifting the body weight into the left hand. I'm taking the left foot towards the right hand and sink down into Skandasana. Press the left hand into the floor. Come back up, Pashvottanasana. 
left foot to the right hand and sink Skandasana. My left hand is keeping the body weight. Press into the left hand. Raise up to Parshvottanasana with the ball of the left foot lifted. One more time. Sink Skandasana. Last one. Hold it for a second. Who breathe, allow the hips to sink. Press to come back up. Bend the left knee. Take the right hand under the right shoulder. Lift the left arm up. Straighten up the right leg completely. And then straighten up the left leg. Parivikta Trikmanasana. Straighten up the kneecaps. Lift the kneecaps up to straighten up the knees. Press the right hand into the floor to lift the left hand up to the ceiling and rotate from the shoulders. Move the belly button to the left leg to rotate from the hips. And now the left arm comes back. Bend the left knee. Straighten up the left knee and up. Then circumduction of the arm to find dynamic after the static. If you notice, all our poses are approached static and dynamic. Next cycle, I'm taking my left hand to the ground, step the left foot back to a downward facing dog. Press the hands into the ground to take the buttocks away from the shoulders. Allow the back of the head to move towards the floor. Lift the heels up to steadily tilt the pelvis, big wave, bend the knees until you tilt, and back. Continue. With the big wave movement, shifting the body weight into the hands, into a high plane, and then shifting the body weight into the legs in the downward facing dog. One more cycle. Keep the shoulders in line with the wrists. Take the knees on the ground. Sit back into child pose. Inhale. Exhale, press into the feet, round the spine and breathe. Inhale, galloping cow. And back down, exhale. Continue, inhale. Exhalation raises into an angry head. From the hips, inhale, and back. Last cycle. And then we're going to find ourselves into our Angry cat pose, shift the body weight over the wrist and shift the body weight back into the heels. Continue forward and back. Let's allow the wrists to warm up a little. And now we keep the body weight over the wrists. Now strong posterior tilt, protraction of the scapula. Press the feet into the ground, lift the knees up. Inhale. Fully exhale to empty the lungs and engage the abdomen. One more time. Knees on the ground. Connect the feet. High plank. Press forward. Downward facing dog. Straighten up the elbows to allow the side ribs to lengthen. Lift the heels up and Double bend of the knees, find the bounciness of the body. If you want, you can find a small jump. Jump on the spot. One more jump. And if I want, I can take the feet forward by jumping or by stepping. And Uttanasana, hold the pose. If your body allows, take the back of the hand on the ground and just allow the shoulders to hang freely. Who oh, breathe in?
connect the pubic bone to the navel, find yourself halfway, head in line with the sacrum, bend the knees, anteriorly tilt the pelvis, hands in Namaskara, Utkatasana, and now allow the chin and the hands to lift you up. Open the arms back to the side of the body to steer and tilt and come down. Bend the knees, anteriorly tilt, hands in Namaskara, lift yourself up again. One more time. Bend the knees, anteriorly tilt. Now raise up, extend the front of the body. Allow the arms to drop, bounce, bounce, lift. And now lift the heels up. Dynamic Katasana into floating Katasana. Last one. Hold it. Bend the knees, come down. Floating Katasana. Floating Malasana, raise the arms up. Disconnect the palms, hands on the ground. Shift the body weight into the legs. And rest here. Bend the knees, step the left leg back. Take the hands below the shoulders, straighten up the right leg. You can take the left foot to a 30 to 45 degrees angle. Press the feet in opposite directions and hold the sensation of strength in the legs by the feet. Allow the right heel to move away from the right shoulder and lengthen from the right side of the body. Roll the left hip medially, the left femur medially, and allow the left hip to drop down in line with the right. Press the hands into the ground, raise the chest up, inhale, and bend the elbows, exhale. One more time. Maintaining the strength into the legs. Take the belly button gently to the right leg, then you exhale and fold. Last cycle. Hold the flexion. Raise the kneecaps up. Take a deep inhalation into the depth of the lungs in between the scapula. And use the exhalation to surrender to the force of gravity. Bend the elbows. One more time. Look forward, inhale. Raise the left heel up, bend and extend the right knee. I feel my body is telling me to distance the feet a little. And now I'm straightening the right leg and lifting the right ball of the foot. And again, bend and extend. One more time. And then I'm going to turn the right foot to the left hand and sink into Skandasana. Press the right hand into the floor. Raise up, Pashmottanasana. And again, sink right foot out to the left hand and back. And continue dynamic. One more time. Hold Skandasana. Inhale. Exhale. Allow the body weight to sink into the right heel, the hips to sink to the floor. The left foot is pointing to the ceiling. Press the right hand into the floor. Come back up. And you can take the left foot a little closer if you need. Take, bend the right knee. It's much easier to start this way. Left hand under the left shoulder. Right arm up. Press the right hip back and take the right knee in line with the second toe. Allow the belly button to move towards the right leg so we're rotating from the hips. Press the left hand down and raise the right hand, the right hand up. And now straighten up the right leg and find Prayvita Vipanasana. The kneecaps are engaged. Now, I'm thinking of the back of the body, condensing the back of the body and opening the front. The sternum is moving away from the pubic bone. There is a slight extension. And now bend the right knee to what the right arm comes down. Straighten up the arm and the leg to the ceiling. Continue. 
Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more time. Take the right hand down to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. Now press the hands into the ground and take the armpits towards the knees and extend the spine ever so slightly. Lift the heels up, posteriorly tilt, big wave. And back. Allow your head to move with the hips. The hips begin the movement. The spine receives the information. The head is finishing the movement. Keep the shoulders in line with the wrists. Knees on the ground. Balasana child pose. Allow the hands to move slightly forward and try to keep the hips as heavy as you can towards the heels. Press into the feet when you exhale. Lift up and allow the movement to continue from a flexion of the spine to a gentle back extension into an upward facing dog. Press the feet into the ground, allow the knees to become light and the hips to become heavy. And back. Again, inhale. Exhalation lifts me into the flexion, hips move down. Now, take the ears away from the shoulders, lengthen the sides of the neck. Allow the back of the body to condense and open the front of the body. The crown of the head is light and the pubic bone is heavy. One last cycle. I am thinking to raise the side ribs to the armpits and I'm taking the shoulders down to the elbows. I'm taking the back ribs into the body and the sternum to the chin. And back. Again, bounce up. Keep the angry cat now. Shoulders over the wrists. Press into the feet. Inhale. Full exhale. Connect the pubic bone and the navel. One more time. Inhale. Full exhale. Knees on the ground. Connect the feet. High plank. Downward facing dog. Who breathing? Lift the heels up and double bend of the knees. Bounce, bounce, and extend. In one of these attempts, jump on the spot. Bounce, bounce, and small jump. And I can jump forward, step forward into Uttanasana. Heavy shoulders. Back of the head can rest on the floor. The pubic bone is moving away from the navel and vice versa. And I'm lengthening the last three vertebrae of the spine to deepen the forward fold. Now connect the pubic bone and the navel and come up halfway. Now bend the knees, anterior pelvic tilt, hands in namaskar. Now take the body weight to the right leg, lift the left heel up. Raise up into a floating tree, arms in line with the shoulders, as if you wanted to touch the left knee and the left elbow, and drop down to a regular. And again, bend the knees, until you till the pelvis, hold katasana, hands in namaskar, shift the body weight to the left, lift the right heel, come up. Look at one point into the, to the ground for balance. And now right knee to the right elbow. Straighten the left knee and down. Now continue the right ball. Continue. And when you come down, allow yourself to take the hands on the floor. 
and tear with you to find your breath. Bend the knees, step the legs back. Shoulders in line with the wrists, hold it for a second, knees on the ground. Straighten the right leg back, take the right heel in line with the left knee, and go back. Posterior tilt, come back up. Anterior tilt, and posterior tilt. Let's give some mobility to this head of the femur of the right leg. Now, one more cycle. And I'm going to hold my angry cat. Now, take the left hand in line with the left knee. Press the left hand down. Raise the right arm up. Go into a rotation. Exhale, left arm under, right arm under the left armpit. Shift the body weight back. Come forward with an inhale. Open into an extension. And flex. Continue. The back body is condensing. The front body is condensing. The left hand is pressing to give you the strength to rotate. One last cycle. And hold the position. Allow the right arm to be heavy. And open and stretch the right pack. Take this tonic, the middle portion of the front of the body forward and extend. Take the right hand down and now take the right leg back and cross the knees, open the feet and sit back into a Bhumukasana. Elbows on the ground, rest for a few breaths. Allow the hips to sink down through the exhalation. One more breath. Come back up. Now, take the right leg forward, forward to the front of the mat and shift the body weight into the right leg, Skandasana. Now, come back. Step the right leg back. Connect the knees. Sit back. Bhumukasana. And dynamic. Take the right leg forward. Sink. Skanda. Back to go muka. Cross. Hip mobility to support us. Continue a few more cycles in our own time. Shift the body weight into the hands. Use your hands as much as you need to make the journey comfortable. And I'm holding Gomukasa once again. And see if we can find more depth through the heat of the body. Breathe into the belly and sense how the lumbar spine responds by decompressing. Exhalation connects to the force of gravity. Count the cup. Disconnect the position of the legs, connect the feet, straighten up the legs, and open the back of the knees for a second. Allow the back of the knees to lengthen. Come back, shoulders in line with the wrists, and now straighten up the left leg. Take the left heel in line with the right knee. Until the heel, the pelvis, come back and forward. Continue. One more cycle. Now body weight into the right hand. Right hand in line with the right knee. Press into the ground to rotate and extend. Buttocks move back. Left arm under the right shoulder. Continue. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Close. Feel free to find your own speed, your own rhythm. Last one.
hold and allow the heaviness of the left arm to create space into the left pec. Press into the right hand to sustain the height of the chest. Take the back ribs into the body and move the middle portion of the front body forward where the stomach is, the meat of the abdomen, and take the left hand down. Now, like a compass, left leg comes back, cross the legs, open the feet, close the gap in between the knees, and shift back. Sit for a second or two. Allow gravity to welcome you, to be your ally towards rest. Shift back up. Left leg comes forward and skandasana. Back. Cross knees. Gumuka. And again, your own rhythm, do as many as your body is telling you to do, or a few less than I'm doing, if that's what's required. One more time. Kandasa, which becomes again Gomukhasana, and we're going to hold it. Now sense how the belly wants to touch the right inner thigh. Breathe into the belly. Allow the belly to touch the right inner thigh, if that's possible. And allow the breath to move back into the number spine. Let's find a deep breath in between the scapula. And come back up. Let go of the crossing of the legs. Straighten up the knees and downward facing dog to relax the back of the legs. From here, come back onto the knees and sit down on the ground. Now, I would like to find this position of 90-90. I'm taking both my legs towards the left side and I'm taking my left hand, maybe like this is better so you guys can see me. My left hand is in line with the left buckle, right hand behind the head, press into the right knee and horizontal rotation and come back. Continue. Now I'm fixing my left hand where it is required. I'm opening the sternum up. And exhale, bend the left elbow, connect the right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, connect the elbow and the knee, press them against each other for a second. One more time. Connect. Now open, inhale. And again, where it is required, left hand down and reach forward with the right hand, half chaturanga, sternum to the ground. Lift up. Allow the left elbow to bend and find this half chaturanga inner rotation. Last one. Now raise, lift the right arm and raise the back leg and straighten them away from each other. Rotate the sternum to the left hand and come back. Wow, what a journey. Now let's change. We come to the opposite side. Notice how I have two 90 degrees angle, right hand in line with the hip, left hand behind the head, and rotate and open. Everything is gradual and progressive. Now sternum up, connect, elbow to knee, lift up, diagonal twist. One more time. Connect. And now open the left arm up. Sink into the right hand. Raise the left arm over the head and back. Inhale. Right hand where it is required to bend the elbow 90 degrees. Find your alignment. Last one. Inhale. And now straighten up the left leg. Straighten up the right arm. Rotate the sternum to the right hand. Dorsiflex the left foot and come back up. 
Now from here, I would like you to sit in the back of the mat and then knees to one side and knees to the opposite. And move the length of the mat. The buttocks will walk you forward. Continue. Let's find mobility. A few more cycles. And take the legs back. Do a downward facing dog. Straight away. Why not? No need to overcomplicate the vinyasa. From here, lift the heels up. Posterior tilt the pelvis. Shoulders forward. I feel I have to take my feet a little bit more back. And hips come down. Upward facing dog. Release the back of the feet. Come back down. Posterior tilt and recap. Anterior tilt, we are looking cow. Connect the feet. Downward dog and raise the right leg up. And now take the right foot in between the hands. Left knee on the floor. The arms come back. And the arms take me up. I'm taking the arms in line with the shoulders. I am side bending to the right. Posterior tilt the pelvis. Raise the right arm, touch the left hand. And exhale. One more time. Now, take the right hand on the belly button and move the skin of the belly button over the left femur, over the right femur, sorry, and close. Again, come up. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Posterior tilt. Side bend, belly button over the right hip. And take the hand. Use the hand to take the skin of the belly over the femur. If the body allows you, left hand on the ground, otherwise, hands in Namaskara. If I can take the hand on the ground, I'm straightening the back leg. Now, press the right hip back. Press the left knee, the right knee against the right, the right knee against the left arm and vice versa, and rotate the sternum up. Raise the right arm up to the ceiling and take it over the head. Keep the posterior pelvic tilt to all the lumbar spine. Move the belly button over the right femur to rotate from the hips. Press the elbow against the knee and rotate the sternum up. Now, left knee on the ground, hands on the floor, straighten up both legs for a second. Step back. Downward dog. Lift the heels, come forward, and I feel I need to move the feet away from the hands to continue to my upward facing dog. Release the feet. Sink back, balasana. Inhale. Exhale, and again. Inhale, galloping cow. Connect. Downward dog now, left leg up. As much as, it, as the body allows. Left foot in between the hands, right knee on the ground. Hands back, hands raise me up. Arms in line with the shoulders, posterior pelvic tilt. Sink to the left side, side bend. The posterior tilt is grounding the knee. Left arm up and down. So I really have two movements here, a side bend and a posterior tilt. Now I'm gonna have a third movement. Posterior tilt number one, side bend number two, and belly button over the left hip and connect. Come back up. Again, posterior tilt, side bend. And if you want, the left hand can help you take the belly button over the femur. Last one. Posterior, side bend over the hip, over the left knee. And find your natural strength. Now, the left hand move the skin of the belly over the femur. If I can, I'm taking my right hand down, otherwise, hands in Namaskar. Straighten up the right leg. The right knee is completely straight, so that I'm raising the posture from the back leg. Press the left hip back and allow the, right, the left knee to be in line with the second toe. Take the belly button to the left hip, to the left leg, so that I can rotate from the hips. Raise the left arm up to the ceiling 
to them take it over the head. If you notice, I'm not taking the right heel, the back leg heel on the ground, I'm keeping it up, and that's on purpose. Pressing the elbow against the knee and vice versa, rotate. Take the right knee on the ground, take the hands below the shoulders, straighten up both legs, downward dog. Step back. Ah, well. And now we're gonna find our flow. Walk the feet forward, slowly, slowly. Rest here for a second. Allow the back of the head to go down. Hold breathing. We put together all the pieces of the puzzle that we have created. Posterity of the pelvis. Find yourself halfway. Bend the knees until we tilt. Extend the spine. Shift the body weight to the right leg. Lift the left leg up to a floating tree. Close yourself into the seat pose. Left hand down, right leg back. Parivrita Trikonasana. And from here, I am bending the knee and circumducting just as we did before. Just to find the right hand on the ground, lift the right foot to the left hand, sing to Bharadvajasana, continue this movement, do a rotation. Now raise the right leg up and rotate it externally, sing down with the hands on the floor and shift to a downward dog on three points. Step the right foot in between the legs, left knee down, the hands move back, raise up, continue with the natural strength, Parivrita Parshvakonasana. Bend the left knee, hands down, straighten up the legs, Parshvakonasana. Bend the right knee, the arms move back, raise up, Viravadrasana. Sink into the right knee. Straighten up the left knee. Shoulder to the ear to lengthen the lumbar spine. Belly button to the right knee. Arms in line with the shoulders. Bounce, bounce. Step forward. Drop the arms. Allow yourself to hang. Hold breathing. Opposite side. Posterior tilt, halfway through. Bend the knees, anterior tilt, hands in namaskar. Lift the right leg up, floating tree. Close yourself into the seat, right hand on the ground, left arm up. Bend the left knee, circumduct. up. Just as we did before, now left knee bend. Left hand on the ground, raise the front of the left foot, sink, skandasana. Right hand down, paradvajasana, rotate. Come up, rotate the left leg externally, find the junction shasana leg. Sink to the front of the mat, step the left leg up. Step the left foot in between the hands, right knee down, arms move back, arms take you up. Parivrita Pashvakunasana, straighten up the right leg. Right knee down, hands on the floor. Parshvakunasana, hold breathing. Bend the left knee, arms move back, arms take you up, sink into the left knee. Straighten up the right knee, straighten up the elbows, reach with the little fingers to the ceiling. Belly button to the left. Arms in line with the shoulders, bounce, bounce, bounce. Come forward with the chest. And now step the right leg in between the hands and allow yourself to hang here. Who oh, breathing. From here, bend your knees, bend your knees and find yourself into a floating malasana, heels raised. Take the feet close to each other. And now take the right hand on the ground. Left elbow connects like in Parivrita Prashvakonasana. 
Now, what I'm gonna do here, this is my left hand, this is my right hand. I'm shifting the body weight into the left hand, and then I'm shifting it into the right. Like there was an arrow going to the right hand. Now I'm shifting the body weight into the left, and then I'm shifting it into the right. Posterity of the pelvis. If you can, straighten up the legs. Come back into your malasana. Who oh, breathing? Find yourself to do this movement as many times as you want. Now, left hand on the ground, connect. Right elbow, mm. right elbow against the left knee. Now, lift the hips up, shift the body weight into this right hand, and then shift it into the left. Straighten up the legs. Look at the feet. Sternum connects to the pubic bone. Bend the legs. Come back, hands on the floor, straighten up, Uttanasana. Repeat these as many times as you want. And I think this is already enough. It's a very good pause that we have already worked out. Now, if you're eager to practice a little more, like how I am, I'm going to show you one last movement you can do, which is called Kaundinyasana. I'm going to stand to the center of the mat. My right foot is at the center of the mat. My left foot is moving towards the right edge of the mat. And then I'm taking the back leg knee to the inner to the outer ankle. Connect the right elbow to the knee. And come back up. And change right foot to the left. Left knee towards the outer malleolus. Lapra malleolus of the right leg. Connect. Dragon step. One more time. Foot forward. Knee to the ground. Connect. Back. Last one. Forward. Connect. From here, I'm going to take my left hand down and I'm shifting my body weight into the left hand and then I'm shifting the body weight into the right. And now I can open the legs. Cross. Come back. Raise yourself up. Change side. Left foot forward. Right knee down. Connect. Hands on the ground and then lift. Straighten up the legs as much as possible. Close back. Lift. Balance. And rest. Now, in my classes, I would create an alternate vinyasa now that we have understood these movements. Adding this one after the Virabhadrasana one that we did in the previous flow. So if you want to, you can repeat the previous flow and instead of stepping forward into Uttanasana, you step the leg forward and over and find Kaundinyasana. From now let's find. Now let's find seated patterns. Dorsiflex the feet, hands below the knees, posterior tilt and anterior tilt the pelvis. Keep the posterior tilt, raise the legs up one at a time, Ardhanavasana, arms in line with the shoulders, open and close, float the arms. And then float the arms up to the ceiling. Notice the strength that we're creating into the hip flexors. And let's use that strength to then fold forward. One more time. Take the hands below the knees. Spread the legs into Avishtakonasana. Press your hands to raise the hips, the buttocks up to the ceiling. Catch the sides of the feet, sternum was away from the pubic bone, and sink low to the ground. Who oh, breathe in here? Just don't force yourself, go as far as the body allows you to go. You can keep the elbows on the ground if you so wish.
Press the heels away from the body. The second toes are pointing up to the ceiling. The femurs are rotating immediately ever so slightly. The inner foot is pressing forward and the outer edge of the foot is coming back. The side ribs are lengthening. Slowly come back up. Take the hands below the knees and slide yourself back to a supine position and who breathe in here. Take the heels to the side of the mat and allow both legs to move gently from one side to the other. If you wish, now you can go up into a bridge, into Udhupadangasana. Let's rest our back for a second. We come back to the center. Now, let's catch the sides of the mat and press the feet away from the shoulders to raise the hips up. I'm walking my hands closer to the heels. Allow the hands to entwine and take the shoulders close to each other. Press the heel into the floor to raise the hips up. Press the elbows into the ground to raise the side ribs up. Connect the inner foot to allow the adductors of the legs to connect and keep the knees towards each other. Press the heels to take the sternum moving to the chin. Now from here, I'm sliding over the place. I'm taking my hands behind my ears and I'm raising myself up into a bridge. Raise the heels up, don't worry about that. And come back down. Yeah, very slippery, new mat. Now from here, who oh, breathe in. And repeat one more time if the body is telling you to do so. Raise up, and here's a little better. Allow the sternum and the pubic bone to move up to the ceiling. Curl the spine, and come down. Gently move the hips from an anterior to a posterior tilt. Keep the arms in line with the shoulders. Allow the head to rotate from one side to the other. Take the knees to the chest. Allow the sacrum to remain heavy, elbows out, massage your back, side to side. There's a million patterns we can do. Since I'm sweating, I'm just deciding to do this one, which doesn't get me to move too much anymore. Take the feet on the ground. Straighten up the legs one at a time. Hug yourself for a second and take the elbows towards the belly to take the scapula away from each other. And relax. Open. Close again. And take the elbows to the belly. Chin to the chest if you want. And let go. Shavasana.